Clark Planning and Zoning Board will come to order for 2020, first meeting. First item is call, uh, roll call. Danny Wiley. Present. Charlie Ramirez. Here. Jonathan Laraga. Romeo Robles. Present. Rafael Munguia. Present. Luis Madrigal. Present. Andy <coughs> Castro. Present. Excuse me. We have a quorum. Okay, thank you. I need a motion to expand the absent members. I'll make a motion to excuse the absent members. I will second. Chairman. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries then. Uh, approval of the minutes. Review the minutes, please. The last meeting. Mr. Wiley, public testimony. Public testimony. Yeah, that's uh, C, D. D. Uh, public testimony. Oh, I sk yeah, skipped it. Okay. Yeah, we'll go back to the public testimony. Anybody signed up for public testimony? Nobody has signed up, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Now we go to approval of minutes. Any changes? Mr. Chairman, I move the minutes of December the 9th. 2019. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay. Motion carries. Next item is uh, public hearing. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Dollar Robles, Planner One for the City of Far. Tonight we have three items for your recommendation. The first item. Orgo Family Limited has filed at the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a change of zone from single family residential district R1 to general business district C in order to remodel the existing building into medical offices. The subject site is located on the east side of South Cage Boulevard and has a physical address of 3715 South Cage Boulevard. The property is legally described as being all of lot one Shallow Brook Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property fronts South Cage Boulevard, a 120 to 150 foot principal arterial that runs north and south with a posted speed limit of 40 to 55 miles per hour as identified in the City of Far's thoroughfare plan. The general business district is established to provide, I apologize, the property is currently zoned single family residential district R1. On February the 18th, 1986, the property was rezoned to single family residential district R1. The surrounding properties to the north, south, east, and west are zoned agriculture and or open space district A1. The property is generally designated for commercial use in the land use plan. The general business district is established to provide adequate space and site diversification for most type of commercial development in the city of Far larger shopping centers and most existing commercial strips along major arterials would be included in this district. The noise, traffic, litter, late night hours and possible blighting influences require additional buffering from residential areas and the traffic from such uses should not pass through residential areas except on arterials and major collectors. Six letters were mailed out to surrounding property owners and a legal notice was published in the advanced news journal. Staff received no response to the letters or to the legal notice. Development Services is recommending approval of the request to rezone from single family residential district R1 to general business district C. As the property meets area requirements, has adequate ingress and egress, and is in line with the future land use plan. If approved, the owner must comply with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item will go before the City Commission meeting of January the 20th, 2020 at 4 p.m. And gentlemen, we do have representation in the audience. Okay, would the applicant like to make some comments at this time? No? Okay, thank you. This item requires a public hearing. Anybody signed up that lives in the affected area to speak for or against it? No one in the affected, chair, uh, affected area, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we'll close the, close the public hearing and open the item up to board discussion. Questions? No. None? No, Mr. Chairman. Okay, let me close the board discussion. Open the floor for any motions. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve change of zone 191169. I'll second that. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Next item. Item number two, East Coast, 
East Point Investments LLC owners have filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a change of zone from Agriculture and or Open Space District AO to General Business District C in order to develop and construct a commercial plaza on said property. The subject site is located on the west side of North Veterans Boulevard and physically located within the 1300 to 1500 block of North Veterans Boulevard. The property is legally described as being a 2.09 acre track of land, more or less, out of lots 13 and 14 LR Bell Development E subdivision for Hidalgo County, Texas. The property fronts North Veterans Boulevard, a 100, minor, 100 foot minor arterial that runs north and south with a posted speed limit of 30 to 45 miles per hour as identified in the City of Bars Thoroughfare Plan. The property is currently zoned Agriculture and or Open Space District AO. On February the 20th, 2017, the property to the north was rezoned to General Business District C. The property to the west is zoned Agriculture and or Open Space District <coughs> AO and the city limits lie to the east. The property to the south was zoned to Single Family Residential District R1 on March the 30th, <coughs> 1982 when the city adopted the current zoning ordinance we use today. The property is generally designated for commercial use in the land use plan. The general business district is established to provide adequate space and site diversification for most type of commercial businesses in the city of FAR. Larger shopping centers and most existing commercial strips along major arterials would be included in this district. The noise, traffic, litter, late night hours and possible blighting influences require adequate buffering from residential areas and the traffic from such uses should not pass through residential areas except on arterials and major collectors. Ten letters were mailed out to surrounding property owners and a legal notice was published in the Advanced News Journal. Staff received no response to the letters or to the legal notice. Development Services is recommending approval of the request to rezone from Agriculture and or Open Space District AO to General Business District C as the property meets area requirements, has adequate ingress and egress, as, and is in line with the future land use plan. If approved, the owner must comply with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item will go before the city commission meeting of January the 20th, 2020 at 4 p.m. And gentlemen, we do have representation in the audience. Yeah. Okay, would the applicant like to have any comments at this time? No? No, sir. Okay. This item requires a public hearing. Anybody in the affected area signed up to speak on it? No one in the affected area, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Let me close the public hearing and open up the item to board discussion. Question? None? None. Okay, we'll close the board discussion. Open up the uh, floor for any motions. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve change of zone 191271. Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Next item. Item number three. ST Inc. doing business as sole Asian market has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a conditional use permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C. The property is legally described as being a 0.3 acre track of land, more or less out of lot 4A, the replat of vacated Carmel subdivision, vacated El Centro Mall subdivision, far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property's physical address is 500 North Jackson Road, Suite M. The property is currently zoned General Business District C. The surrounding area is zoned General Business District C to the north, south, and east, and heavy industrial district HI to the west. This area is generally designated for commercial use in the land use plan. The police chief, code compliance, health department and planning department all recommend approval. The fire department is pending reinspection for the conditional use permit. The hours of operation will be from Tuesday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Sunday at 12. One surrounding property owner was notified of the request by letter and a legal notice was published in the advanced news journal. Staff received no response to the letters or to the legal notice. 
Development Services is recommending approval of the conditional use permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C, subject to the applicant and site being in compliance with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item will go before the City Commission meeting of January the 20th, 2020 at 4 p.m. And gentlemen, we do have representation in the audience. Okay, does the applicant have any comments at this time? No, sir. No? Okay. This item requires a public hearing. Anybody in the affected area signed up to speak on it? No one in the affected area, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we'll close the public hearing and open the item up for board discussion. Question? None? Okay, we close the board discussion. Let's open the floor for any motions. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve CUP 19-1272. Second. Second, Charlie. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Good evening, commissioners. For the record, my name is Silberto Martinez, your planner two for the city of FAR. Tonight we have uh, three plat approvals before you for your recommendation. Item number one, applicant Melton and Hunt, Inc., representing Mark Bissell, uh, managing member for Bissell Southwest DC Leasing, LLC, is, re is requesting final plat approval of the proposed Gemini subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 37.397 acres out of lot 367 and, and 370 Kelly Fire Subdivision and out of lot 14 Block 1, a resubdivision of Klausner Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is located within the 900 block of East High Line Road. The property is current, currently zoned in uh, Heavy Industrial District, HI. The adjacent zones are Agricultural Open, si open Space District AO to the north, east, and west, and Limited Industrial District LI and Agricultural Open Space District uh, AO to the south. The property is designated for industry use in the land use plan. Property proposed use or warehouse. Variances non requested. Development services recommends final plan approval. Uh, the proposed Gemini subdivision subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the City Commission a meeting on January the 20th, 2020 at 4 p.m. And we do have a uh, representation in the audience. Okay, thank you. This item does not require a public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the item up to board, the board discussion. Questions? None? Okay, let me close the board discussion and open up the floor for any motions. Mr. Chairman, I move to uh, approve the final plat for subdivision 181238. Second. Second. Charlie Ramirez. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Next item. Next item. M. Garcia Engineering, LLC, representing Zaragoza Hinojosa Jr. President of Heavy Investments, <coughs> LTD, a, a Texas Limited Partnership, is requesting preliminary plat approval of the proposed master subdivision plat East Park subdivision. The property is legally described as a tract of land containing 17.13 acres and also being a part or portion of lots 13 and 14 LR Bell Development E subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is located within the 1100 and 1200 block of East Ferguson Avenue. The property is currently zoned Agricultural Open Space District AO. The adjacent zones are General Business District C and Agricultural Open Space District AO to the north and Single Family Residential District R1 to the south. The General Business District C and Single Family Residential District R1 to the west and, c and city limits to the to the east. The property is designated for commercial use and single family residential use and land use plan. Property proposed use, lot one, retail, lot two, undecided, variances, not requested, 
Development Services recommends preliminary, preliminary plan approval of the proposed master subdivision plan, East Park subdivision, subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the City Commission meeting on January the 20th at 4 p.m. Who have representation yet? Okay, this item is not for a public hearing. So we'll go ahead and open up the item for board discussion. Question? None? Okay. We'll close the board discussion, open up the item <coughs> for any motions. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve preliminary plat for subdivision 19-12-29. Second that. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those, all those opposed, I'm signed. Okay, motion carries. Okay, last item. Applicant Perez Consultant Engineers representing Charles Clark, uh, Charles Clark, general partner, Clark Knapp Honda is uh, requesting final plat approval of the proposed Clark Knapp Honda subdivision section two. The property described as being a track of land containing four acres out of lot 170 Kelly Far subdivision. Far Yellow County, Texas. The property is located at the 1000 block of West Polk Avenue. The, uh, the property is a uh, zone general business district C. The adjacent zones are heavy commercial district HC to the north, agricultural <coughs> open space district L to the east, high density multifamily district R4 to the south, and general business district C to the west. The, the property is designated for commercial use in the land use plan. The property proposed use, it's an ex extension or extended parking for the dealership. Variances, non requested. Uh, development services recommends final plan approval of the proposed Clark Map Honda uh, subdivision section two, subject to the following conditions uh, set before you. Also, this item will go before the city commission meeting on January the 20th, 2020, at 4 p.m. Okay, this item does not require a public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open it up to board discussion. No discussion? Okay, we'll close the board discussion. Open the floor up for any any motions. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve final plat for subdivision 160720. Second. Second, sorry, Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next item is our announcements and other business. No new business, Mr. Chairman. None? Okay, there's only one left. Mr. Chairman. Chairman. Yes, sir. I move to adjourn. Okay, second. second. Charlie Ramirez, second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion carries. Thanks, That's guys. it, folks. Thank, Thank you. you.